All right, we find ourselves in the mech room, finished up a job today, but it's raining now, so we are back in the shop. Abraham is putting a Solark on the wall. What we did is we got an extra bracket from Solark just to have in the shop so we could take the customer's inverter, any customer's inverter, and put it on the wall and um, just do the software updates. We find ourselves in these off-grid lands of undisclosed location and we have a hard time sometimes getting our Wi-Fi going and updating the dongle and all the things that you know, on the last day of an install when everybody's tired and we're trying to get this thing updated, it's really a pain. So what we do is, I've got an extra 48 volt battery bank. Well, this was my main one. But since I added the Fortress E-Volts for testing here, but I'm running off, this becomes the test battery. I keep it floated with a flex charge. Let me show you my flex charge. The old flex charge charge controller here, 48 volt. We use it for batteries. We use it for charging golf carts. Whatever's 48 volt. It loves it. It just doesn't do lithium. Well, I think it does. And I've put it on a lithium battery. But the manufacturer says don't do that. But I couldn't help myself. So anyway, um, we're back in the mech room. And so we get these Wi-Fi dongles. I think Solark's going to change this, whether to an SD card or some easier way to make updates. I think that's about to happen. But in the meantime... We bring this to the job ready to go. All right, and good old fl flooded lead acid. We don't do many of these anymore. You, in our earlier solar videos, we did a bunch of these, but they were actually going to a job where we're replacing this and swapping it out for a sealed lead acid EMP hardened system. This is a great workhorse, but you gotta babysit it. You gotta keep it full. You see the little indicators. I keep my battery watered. Those, when you see the whites, you know you're full um, when they're low and go away. Anyway, so then you have your little, this is a battery watering kit, and you can use your hydrometer to check specific gravity and make sure it's like about 1.256. Anyway, oh, I might be a little off on that one, but it's been a great battery. It's easy to equalize on the system, whether I do it on grid, I can do it with solar as well. And it's just a rainy day, not making much power. But we're doing things to help us in the jobs. This is one of the preps. I hate going to a job and not having what we need. And we're getting better and better. We're making very few uh, equipment runs, material runs, when we end up on a job site. It's so much fun. We even bring our lunches and food, and we're kind of uh, self-contained when the crew hits the ground that's why we're able to get these jobs done we're not bragging it's just having fun trying to figure out what makes it faster we don't want to be away from our families for weeks so we just got it down to three four day jobs and uh have a good time together so anyway just in the mech room prepping for a job let me know what you think engineer 775 signing out